Greetings everybody, it's Jim. I'm glad to announce that Dungeon Runner, my fantasy solo card game, is back on Kickstarter with five new exciting decks. And you don't need any of the previous decks to play, so if you haven't heard of Dungeon Runner before, by all means click the link down below and get to the Kickstarter and check it out. There's a full tutorial for you. And for those of you who do know about Dungeon Runner, let's get into what makes this installment special. So in this series of five decks, we of course have the Z series in blue here, the Jungle of Despair, the Lost Temple of Aki Joe, and the Siege of Castle Archon. Now these all are self-contained adventures. You do not need any of the other ones to play. You could start with the Siege of Castle Archon if you wanted to. However, by getting all three decks, you do have the, the capacity, because there are links to each, each deck, um, that you can make your own complete story. Okay, uh, we started doing that in the companion series, uh, C1 and I, uh, I mean, C and I series. Uh, we started to do that a little bit more while the basic expert and master sets were really just all one offs. Uh, they didn't have any links to each other at all, and they were just in sets of uh, card complexity because those were the first decks that we made. So the B series had like very little um, text on them. There's a very straightforward. And while you got to the M series, then all of a sudden there's lots of text and all the gloves come off, right? Uh, now in this series also in these five decks, we have uh, the Unthrottled Man, which is in finishing off the O series. The last Kickstarter, we only had two uh, decks for the O and D series. So this one for the sake of completeness and making every series have three decks, Figured might as well continue here. And continuing, we do. The Unthrottled Man brings back Fenlin, which is the hero of this ongoing story. And it finishes us off here with the Unthrottled Man. He can finish off his fever dream-like adventure. And then D3 is another utility pack. Uh, for those of you who don't know about Dungeon Runner, these decks also can be interchanged. You can take cards out of here and make your own adventures. All right, and so there's a utility, the D series is utility packs. It's not an adventure per se, it's just extra cards with a certain theme, this one being arsenals and allies. Replayability is a big thing in solo gaming. You don't want to just play a game once and be done with it, right? If you could play a game over and over again, you're getting much more value for the buck. And Dungeon Runner does that because each deck contains eight to 10 different quests. Now, some of them are just swapping a few cards out to make a few nuances, and but some of them really go off the grid. And it just, from the basic rules, to something totally different. But it doesn't stop there because you can make your own adventures with Dungeon Runner. Not not just by making your own quests from one deck, you can swap, mix, and match cards from different decks and make your own adventures. They can be as small or as big as you want. And with 27 decks in all now, after all these years of making these decks, I mean, you really have a lot of room to work with to make your own adventures, maybe your own campaigns, give them to your friends to frustrate them. I mean, there's a lot that you can do. Dungeon Runner has increased its arsenal of artists this time around. I mean, sure, there's familiar faces. Suzanne Andraki, Origins Award-winning artist Christopher Reisert, my brother. Uh, we got um, Rick Hershey, of course. Uh, he's done stuff for many companies. And, of course, Dean Spencer, probably the most prominent person in Dungeon Runner is Dean Spencer and with good reason because his stuff just brings out creative juices in me. When I see his stuff, I say, oh, I know what I'm going to do with that card. You know, and after 27 decks, that's very important, right? To come up with something fresh and new. But we also got some exciting new stuff. Uh, v Shane, I've had a, about two or three cards used with him, but now I definitely use a lot more. Uh, Jeffrey Cock, Jeremy Hart, um, and uh, Samantha Darcy, I use specifically for her gemstones. Uh, gemstones are a new thing in the in the in the game. Uh, they're a new type of bag of gold. Okay, now for those of you who don't know, a bag of gold is going to be something that you use for scoring when you leave an adventure alive, right? But you can also use bags of gold in-game to get certain bonuses. Now the difference is now, because gemstones are, gemstones are a new bag of gold, If you there are cards that say, hey, if you use a bag of gold, you get this. But if you use gemstones, you get that. And also, certain cards will actually use gemstones if you have them as magical properties or other ideas that I may come up with. So they're going to be something specific. And I'm really excited to see you all check that out. Not only do I want you to click the link down below, I want you to share the link down below. Because starting at $5,000 and every $1,000 thereafter, we're already almost at five anyway. But I mean, every $1,000 thereafter, I'm adding cards to the promo pack that most pledge levels will get.
okay so and it's going to be easier than that because not only are people going to order the game look at these two bundles on the top here uh, we have the action game pdf bundle as an add-on which includes two mech games uh, triads and alpha mecha and a spaceship combat game that i'm very proud of the ascension of the galaxy and david pulver came up with a solo game of uh, operation meteor Okay, so you can get all that for 19 bucks, and then the Fantasy Counter Kit number two and three in PDF form for only 15 bucks. And with those there, every you know, it's going to be easier to pad uh, the, the the numbers and get more more money. So we you know just it's the numbers are going to go up, and that means the more promo cards that are going to go up, and everybody's going to be happy. I definitely think we're going to hit 10,000. It doesn't really surprise me. So everybody's probably going to get Ixian pretty easily, but just keep it going because I would love to have the problem of creating new cards. Thank you very much. Click on that link and I'll see you next video.